the mind can take us on many detours. But in the end, awakening is only about one thing. And that is realizing who you really are. Beyond any description. The mind cannot take you there. You cannot think your way into that knowing. We can talk about it, we can be poetic about it, and we can explore what it means. But in the end, you will have to face it, sort of naked, naked from all conceptual knowing. You will eventually find yourself in a spot where you are asked to leave behind all ideas, all concepts, and then take the final step, naked. The trance state is the mind insisting upon a description, an an explanation, That is the trance state. It's not your fault. You just simply happened to appear in a world where almost everybody was walking around in a trance. But the time has come to wake up. The first step is that you recognize how you constantly are talking to yourself. Not out loud, but thinking. The voice in the head That is the first step to recognize that if you are unable to see very clearly that that is what is going on, then you will continue to be caught inside the trance state. That is the trance state, that is the self-talk. The perpetuate thinking of the mind, insisting on building a narrative, a building a story, the story about me. And that is actually what is going on. That is the mind continuously thinking about the story about me. And the trance state is simply being completely hmm, lost within that story, lost within that narrative. And again, do not blame yourself anything. 
If you are blaming yourself, that's just more stories. So simply watching, watching the mind, the storytelling mind, And then also watch that sometimes the mind is quiet. Who are you when the mind is quiet? When the mind is quiet, there are no stories about you. Awakening is all about realizing who you are non-conceptually. You do not need to label anything to exist, to be, to be who you are. When you start labeling, when you start naming, building stories about yourself, then you lose yourself into that story. And you take that story to be who you are. That's the trance state. But you exist prior to any story. You exist prior to any idea you might have. And the rediscovery of that, that is the awakening. The byproduct of that, the byproduct of awakening, is the falling away of a great deal of suffering. Suffering that was a direct result of identifying with the story. Mind you, we are not trying to eliminate any story. What we are doing is that we are simply rediscovering that that is what they are. Stories. And that no story in the end could ever contain who I am in my essence. It is a different kind of knowing. For instance, when you are hungry, there is no need for you to say to yourself, I am hungry. You might do that, but you know it. You know it even without any labeling. If you are cold, then you know that you are cold. You might say, I'm freezing, but you do not need to do that to know that you are cold, that you need to seek shelter or that you need to take on some, put on some more clothes. You simply know that you are cold. If you are, you might also experiencing some itching on the skin you need not say, I am experiencing itching now on my skin. I have to do something about it. No, you intuitively know that there are itching on the skin. And if you explore what I am pointing at here, you will be able to find numerous what to call it, things about yourself that you intuitively know. And so you also, of course, intuitively know who you are in the same way, without any labeling. But we have forgotten, or we have been mm, conditioned in a way that we have simply forgotten. 
We have forgotten who we are. Behind, beyond all the stories, all the concepts, all the ideas. So a byproduct of this awakening is that when a lot of those ideas falls away or when they are seen as being very clearly just simply ideas, when that happens, then a lot of suffering, a lot of pain, a lot of sadness, stress, frustration, etc. A lot of that is simply just falling away because they were a direct result of this misidentification. And when that falls away, it is like after a rain, a rainy day when the clouds open up and revealing the sunshine. So when all that falls away, you discover happiness, peace, resting as you are, as yourself. And then you from, from that, what to call it, vantage point, you start to explore life with a feeling of being reborn. There is a lot to explore with curiosity. There is a lot of beauty to explore with curiosity when you awaken. And creativity will flower. Love. Love, true love is being revealed to you. Not the conceptual kind of love. <laughs> that most humans are mm, living with. The kind of love which is actually has nothing to do with love but has everything to do with attachment. The kind of love, attachment that are being lived nowadays is also a direct result of living in the trance state. Falling in love. No, you are not falling in love. You are simply just hoping that another human being can complete you. <laughs> and then if after a while where you discover that that other human being is not completing me. That other human being is draining me instead. Then suddenly the love is gone again. <laughs> but it was never there. So that kind of attachment is also a direct result of the trance state. A direct result of the identification with the thinking mind. I am not my thoughts. Say it loud. Now. I am not my thoughts. No thought could ever truly define who or what I am. Come say it loud. No thought, no concept could ever define who I truly am. That is the essence of this sharing. I am not my thoughts. 
the freedom that arises out of that realization, which is a direct realization, the freedom that arises from that is undescribable. But you cannot think your way into that. It is impossible. There will be a point where you will be asked to leave everything behind and then take the final step. But you will be taking the final step into reality and out of the trance state. So everything you leave behind does not really exist. I will for a while be focusing on this subject, on this topic, because it is at the root at a true spiritual sharing, awakening out of the self-talk, awakening out of the conceptual idea about who I am. That is what it's all about. But when that happens, it has numerous consequences. We could call that byproducts. And we will be exploring those in the coming videos. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Thank you for listening, my friend.